update, 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 and a new keyboard today on Brighter Gadgets and Workflow. Hey everybody, welcome back to Writer Gadgets and Workflow. I'm author K.L. Brady and I am back today with another episode. I am so excited to be back guys. I know it has been a while, but I have had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Seriously, a lot. <laughs> A lot of life happening, a lot of life changes happening. So, um, and you, but you know, I told you guys I would never stop doing the show. I will not. So sometimes it may be a little longer between episodes, but I promise you that doesn't mean that I have quit. That just means something has overtaken events. Usually, those things that have overtaken events have to do with the work and how I pay the mortgage and feed my child, okay? So I'm excited to be back today. Um, I wanted to give some updates today um, because I feel like over the last few months, I've like done a, I've done a lot of work with um, my writing tools and I feel like I'm in a really good place to update you on what really Truly, I am using in my workflow and what has kind of gone to the wayside. I'm in this really fast pace and now is the time where I've really solidified like what gets used and what doesn't because I simply do not have the time. So the tools that I will talk about today, there's a few tools that I don't use anymore and there's a few tools that I do continue to use. And I want you to know why I continue to use them or why I don't use them. What really, what ultimately has become the best investment and what has become most useful. And then I am going to unbox a new keyboard. I will explain myself. I know you guys are like, Carla, really? Another keyboard? Didn't I just do a keyboard like a few months ago? Yes, I did. But I have a reason for wanting this keyboard. It's probably not a good reason, <laughs> let's keep it real, but it's my reason and so I got another keyboard. The things I don't use anymore. So the first thing I want to talk about that I don't use anymore is the Moleskine um, smart notebook that I just talked about probably in the last real episode that I did. Okay, so it's been a few, a couple months at least since I, um, or at least a month since I talked about that on the show. And I got to tell you guys, it just did not find its way into my writer workflow. You know, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it was the fact that I didn't, um, you know, keep it handy enough. I don't know, but... Honestly, it just did not find its way into my workflow. So the last thing that I did with this, um, the, the, the last thing that I did with this, I think, was my demo that I did actually on the episode. It just did not find its way into my writer workflow. And so to me, that tells me something, you know, especially with my schedule being crazy and harried like it is. Um... And me needing, uh, I'm having a lot of meetings. Um, I'm tracking a lot of projects that I am supporting. And um, so the thing that I want to grab is not, it's not this. It's, this is not it. Um, and so, you know, at least for me and my workflow, between my day job and my um, evening job, this just this has not been one of those things that has really that has really stuck. So, will I use it in the coming months? We'll see. But I wanted to be honest, guys. I haven't really used it. So this is number one, the Moleskine kind of thing. I haven't really used my Moby Scribe. Yep, 
Gotta be honest, guys. I haven't really used it. Look, you can see it's dead. <laughs> the battery has completely drained out. I don't even know the last time I actually uh, loaded this thing up. I haven't used it. Um, and I have kept this handy. And it is not the thing I go to grab. It is just not. I, what's the reason? For me, actually, I feel like the biggest part of the reason why I don't use this anymore is because of the size, right? Because I need, when I have information, I need things to be comfortable for what I'm doing. And to me, I think it's the size probably that prevents me from grabbing this above other tools. So, you know, that doesn't really speak to the, the device's utility or its usefulness uh, to someone else, especially if it's your only tool. But for me, when I have my choice and I have a choice of all the tools, um, this is not one that I pick up. So the Moby Scribe, I know this is kind of a shocker um, because, um, and like I said, I think it's a great tool. I, I, you know, I have a buffet of choices when it comes to digital notebooks. This isn't the one I choose. So that's number two. But my Rocket Book, don't really use it. Don't really use it. Like I said, when I have the buffet of selections here, this is not on the buffet. This is not on my plate. <laughs> this is not one of those things that makes it to my plate. Um, is it a is it a useful tool? I'm sure it's useful to somebody for some reason, but for what I need to do, and like I said, fast pace, lots of projects to check, lots of meetings, lots of notes to track. Um, this has not been one of those things that I have used to do all of that work. The super note, nope. You know, I was planning, my thought was that this was going to be so useful that I was going to end up buying the, this is the uh, Supernote A6X, the smaller version. And I thought it was going to be so useful to me that I was going to buy the A5X because, because of all the features and everything, especially for the PDF capability that, that was in this. And I thought, well, with the features that are here, get it in a bigger size, look at the PDF, um, the cap PDF capability that I would, you know, switch to this in the A5X. No, honestly, I've had it close to me. I've been able to pick it up and I haven't picked it up. Not once. I haven't even really looked at, looked at it. Um, it's just not my tool of choice. Now, is it a good tool? It's great. If this was your only tool to use again, then you might be able to settle with this. But when I have all the tools to choose from, this is not one of those that, um, you know, that ends up on my list of things that I use consistently. It's just not. I have not used this um, probably in a good month. So that's an interesting observation, right? All right, use like, what is part of your true, what are the gadgets that are in your workflow? The first thing that I am using, to my surprise, the uh, Books Max. Now, what I have told myself is that when I'm ready to buy another tool, what I'm going to end up getting is the Books Max Lumi. Because the only thing truly that this um, that I that I am missing out of this is uh, the front light, or yes, yeah, the front light. It's not back light. It's front light. Okay. So what I will say is I use this every single day, without fail, every single day. I use this for my job, my day job. I do not use it for writing, um, but I do use it for my day job practically all through the day and I use it for PDF reading. I found that this is the size that makes my eyes happy. The 13.3 inch is what makes my eyes happy when I have to read a lot of PDFs and I read PDFs all day long. 
and a smaller device just does not work for me reading PDFs. So what I will say is that if all day long you have to read PDFs, whether it be for work, whether it be for your student, whatever, this I never tire of reading PDFs on, ever. The only thing that I would add to this is a light so that I could read after work when I'm not sitting at my desk and I don't have all the, you know, all the light options, right? Now, on my desk in my office uh, downstairs, I've got um, two daylights. When I turn them on, it really brightens up the room and I can see easily, you know, and I can practically sit this under that light with no glare and I can read and make my notations and all the features in it help me easily find things, notate things. Um, it makes a table of contents of the stuff that I mark, you know, so it's very easy to get back to it. So 100% this gets used every day, the Books Max 3, and I will be up, up, uh, updating this to the Books Max Lumi soon because I want the front light. The Books Max 100% use it every single day is my free right yes this is in steady rotation before i go downstairs to work in the morning i wake up and i do my chapter i try to do my chapter um a day usually every day close to every day um at least since january when i started writing my christmas books again so this is my main drafting tool um, but what happens is, of course, when I finish here, I send it uh, to to the email. You know, I open it on my um, on my iPad, and and from there I will edit or whatever, or you know, open it in Word and edit whatever. So, but this is where I draft my chapters. When I have to do brand new chapters, this is where I draft the chapters. So. This free write has definitely been one of those tools that I continue to get a lot of usage out of. Um, for me, it is about the backlight because I can. It's a night writing tool. I can write at night. It lights up. You know, you can see that it lights up. I can write it any um, any lighting situation. And of course, I've told you guys, I love the typing experience. You know, these. The brown switch keys, to me, it's like I found a new favorite thing. I love uh, the MX brown keys and the sound. So that keeps me productive. The iPad, daily. Okay, I've got both of my iPads here, but one's got my script on it, <laughs> which I am not reading, by the way. Um, so this I use for work and I use it for writing. Um, for work, it is what I use for drawing graphics. I'm able to use color to draw graphics and send them to the graphic artist so that they can actually make my weird art look like real art. And then also for, um, and then after work for editing manuscripts, I, when I email the manuscript to myself or I open it up on my iCloud, I open it up, I can mark it up here. And then I'll end up going to type it, you know, on my, on my um, iMac 27 inch with the Mac Lee keyboard. That's what I've been using to edit these days. Will that change? You know me. I kind of go with the wind. Right now, that's where I am. The last three months, solid. That's kind of been my process. I write on the free write. I like write the chapters on the free write. I edit it here. I type. Uh, type up my manuscript on the 27 inch with the Macaulay keyboard. That that's my happy place right now. I'm not gonna mess with it until it you know until it fails to serve its purpose. <laughs> but right now that's that's serving its purpose, which is you know getting me um, production. So happy about that. But this and the Apple Pen. I just took it off my other iPad. But this and the Apple Pen have been my rocks. I've used it every single day. My remarkable. This is my, 
This is the one that I've come back to. I have all the tools in the world to choose from. And this is the one I come back to. This is the one I, when I have a meeting, I grab. This is kind of my central. It's my central for my books. Um, you know, it's kind of my hub for all of my, you know, five to nine work, all my novels, all my outlines are here, all my concepts. Anytime I think of a new idea for a book, it lands here. All of that is here. All of my work training and certifications end up here. All of my um, proposals and my notes that I take during the day for my meetings and everything. When I grab a tool, this is the one I grab. So this is my central hub right now, bar none, out of any of the tools that I have. If, if there's one tool that I need to grab in order to make sure I'm up to date on something or to update it or to be, to make sure that um, I ha need to have what I need to have for a meeting or whatever, this is that tool. 100% my Remarkable. To the point that I'm actually ready to go purchase the leather cover for it, which is $169. I was hoping for a sale. Maybe I'll try to hold out for a sale. But I want the leather cover now. I'm, I am I use it to the point now where I would like to have not this cover. I wasn't sure. You know, when I bought it, so that's kind of why I bought this polymer weave cover. But now that I know it's going to be like the tool, the real tool that I use, now I want the... Um, the glammed up cover. <laughs> so I will probably end up with the brown cover, um, the brown leather cover at, at some point. So the two tools that I plan to use, um, that I plan to update, sort of, right? I'm gonna update the cover on this. I'm keeping the Remarkable to 100%. This is a tool. My, um, my iPad, 1000%. Use it. My free write, 1000%. Absolutely use it. And my books max. My four tools, my four writing tools, pretty much cover everything. That's pretty much what I'm settled on right now. I have been using them consistently for three months. And the only thing that I would add to that is that I've been, you know, I've, I use my headphones. I use these every day for meetings. Um, you know, when you have to sit and listen to Teams meetings and Skype meetings and stuff like that. Like, um, I have the plug-in to go into my work PC. And I will listen to my meetings on these headphones specifically. Today is, whoops, sorry. The, what's it called? Velocifier. Velocifier um, Mechanical Wireless Keyboard. And I will tell you, and you will probably find this um, this excuse a little shady, but, you know, it is what it is. So, what happened is, I was taking my iMac 27. So, right now, I use my iMac 27 in my room. But it is the one that goes from my room to my office and my office to my bedroom uh, on the weekends Is was the plan, right? <laughs> So I, on the weekends, I type in my bedroom, I have a desk, I have a desk set up in there, an over the bed desk where I put my, um, where I put my iMac 27. But what was happening is that I, I use my Macaulay keyboard with that. Um, transporting the keyboard with that cord, I know this sounds ridiculous. Even as I say it, I know it sounds ridiculous. But it was just kind of a hassle to carry the keyboard and all of that um, to the position that it's in. I wanted to sit in another position, but it can't be in another position because the cord has to be attached to the um, to the computer. That's the only way it works. It connects with the USB. It's not a wireless, right? So I said, wouldn't it be nice if something existed where you could have a wireless keyboard that is mechanical with the brown keys 
Like, does that exist? That way you can move the keyboard anywhere you want, but, um, but you still get that typing experience like you get on your free write and like you get on your Macaulay. And in, you know, introducing the Velocifier. So this is supposed to give me that experience. So what I'm going to do today is open it up and see what's in the box. And, you know, for the next few days, I'll use it. And I'll tell you guys whether this is worth it. The beautiful thing about this keyboard, uh, as opposed to my other keyboards that are like, you know, well over $100, this is like a $69 keyboard, which is cheap for me. You guys know, right? So it's actually a cheaper option. It's wireless and it still gives you that free write typing experience or that Macaulay typing experience for a, the Macaulay is about half price. It's about half price of what the Macaulay cost me. And of course, it's way, 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 way cheaper than the free write, which was like 500 something dollars, right? So today we're going to open up the Velocifier and see what it is like. Stay tuned. All right. So it is time. I'm excited to check out this uh, Velocifier um, mechanical keyboard, okay? Um, I apologize for the angle, but this was the only way I could kind of fit all of it on the screen. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Well, first of all, let's see. Velocifier mechanical keyboard. Uh, it's made in China. I, I forget where I saw this. I think I saw this on like an um, Instagram ad. And I was like, ooh, toy. And so I figured I had to have it. And that is why I have it. Okay, so let's um, open this up. Good. All right. That is the Velocifier keyboard. And okay, so. In the box comes a uh, USB cord. Oh, so this is a, I think this is a dongle. Yeah, there we go. This is a dongle to use the keyboard, I guess. So this is how it's wireless. So it operates, apparently it operates so apparently it operates like a mouse. So that is the Velocifier. That's the wireless capability. It has a um, USB and USC connection. All right. See that? All right. Let's see what else. Oh. And in the box comes instruction manual. And then, so this is what you use to pluck out the keys. I got one of these uh, with my uh, free write so that I can swap out the keys. My free write used to have white keys. Now it has black keys. And that is because of that handy dandy tool. So that's awesome. Now, it's in the pocket here. Yeah, I kind of pull that off. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You know me and a keyboard. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love this. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, you know that? It sounds like MX Brown piece. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love that experience. And it is totally wireless. So you get the keys, you get the USB-C, so the USB-C plugs here, the USB plugs into the computer. Um, I think that's it. That's all the magic. Oh, and it's got feet. So you can use it standing up at an angle. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I just pushed them down. But anyway, that's nice. Ooh, that gives a nice little angle. Lovely. So 
This is the Velocifier keyboard. It is a good, let me tell you something, the weight on this is remarkable. Given that it's a $70 keyboard, I think this is almost as heavy, if not uh, heavier, than my Macaulay keyboard. So the point is, when you sit this down, it is not moving. <laughs> you do not have to worry about pushing this along or putting too much pressure on it so that it's sliding or across your desk. Also, I will note about the feet as that um, these feet are actually these feet are actually rubber. So they, when you sit them on a desk, no matter what the surface is, these things are not going to slide around on you. I already love this keyboard. I got to tell you guys, but um, I'm going to be using it tonight. And I will um, report back on what my experience is and uh, how to set it up. It looks like it's got a few features here. So I'll read through the instructions, check out the features, and then I'll come back and let you guys know whether this is $69 well spent. But from what I can tell right now, the answer is a resounding. Yes, I'm excited about this. Okay. And that is going to do it today for Writer Gadgets and Workflow. Okay, so guys, I have a few shows in the works that are coming. Okay. One is I've decided to get the books loomy. I will be talking to you guys about the um, features in that when I get it and show that to you. Man, that thing is chock full of features. It's ridiculous. So I'm truly excited to get that and bring that to the channel and show it to you guys. Also, I want to show you guys another tool that I think is kind of fun, which is um, what I've been using to write my books, and it's called The Living Writer. Now, if you guys have, um, if anybody's on the channel has worked with Scrivener before, like I used to be a big Scrivener user, and I, I may end up going back to it eventually, but I have to tell you that I actually like the living writer experience for a few reasons, which I will talk to you about probably in the next episode. I think that's what my, um, my next show is going to be about. Um, so there's definitely more content coming. I have, I owe you guys, a, you know, a lot of stuff, which I will, you know, be following up on in more detail, but, um, just know that I'm not going anywhere and I will be as new tools come out, um, things that, um, you know, I've really been focusing on things because everything's been kind of crazy with me and, and work. Um, I've really been focused on the things that I really use in my day-to-day -day, um, workflow, right? And, you know, I write for all day and then I write at night and I, it's just, you know, two different sides of my brain. One is the logical, you know, business side and the other one is the creative side. So, um, so I'm really getting the full use of the range of tools for different purposes. And I can tell you that the tools that I talked about earlier are the ones that pretty much do the job for me, no matter what. So I'm excited, though, to continue to tell you guys about the, the neat things that I find out and the new tools that I find out. And the show's not going anywhere. And I will still be here um, talking to you about this writer um, nerd stuff. I'm the writer nerd. I'm not calling you the nerd. I'm the nerd. So anyway, please like and subscribe if you like the content. And um, we'll see you next time.